98.1 FM and AM 1220. 410 coming up on 411. It is the new year. 2020, a year of good fortune, good vibes, and hopefully better health. Every month has its own cause. Some better than others. For instance, like nobody really cares that it's Mustache March or that February is National Bird Feeding Month. In fact, stop feeding the birds. Stop growing mustaches. Both gross me out. This month is important, though. January is Cervical Health Awareness Month. Uh, Tiffany Sasse is Oncology Navigator, and Lisa Ortega is Director of Outpatient Programs for Breast Cancer, Cancer Services, Infusion Therapy, Palliative Care, I gotta take a second breath, Wound Care, Hyperbaric Medicine, all that and more at Henry Mayo Newhall, and they somehow, with all of this going on, they've somehow carved out the time to join us here in studio. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having us. Of course. Of course. So let's get right into it. How many women are affected by cervical cancer every year? How many women receive this diagnosis? There's about more than 13,000 women this year alone that will be diagnosed with cervical cancer. Is it preventable? It is preventable. Um, It's most commonly linked with HPV. Mm. Hmm. about 93% of cervical cancers can be prevented by screening as a pap smear test um, that you can have done yearly or every three years with your um, oncolo- excuse me, your gynecologist. Also, the HPV vaccination will also help prevent um, cervical cancers. Is this in the public consciousness? Is this a thing that women are aware of that's happening thir- over 13,000 cases a year? Or do you find that when you go in to diagnose cervical cancer or any kind of symptom down there, that they're taken by surprise. Do they know? I don't think they're thinking of cervical cancer. There's right. a lot of discussion about HPV, right. um, but I don't think people understand how strongly it is correlated with cervical cancer. Are there other contributing factors to it? There's others, but HPV is the single most preventable cause. What is HPV? I always hear the three letters HPV, but uh, give me a little bit of a breakdown. I'm, I'm, at, I'm out of the loop here. Uh, HPV is a viral infection. Um, There's more than 100 varieties of this um, type of viral infection, but it does cause um, warts and also it causes cervical cancer. And do you know if you have it? I mean, outside of the warts, it it, it goes untreated or undiagnosed if you don't go in. Right. If you don't go and have your your routine checks that should start at age 21 for a woman, um, you will be unaware that you're being affected. Most women can be affected um, and not know it, but if this caught early enough, the cervical cancer can be prevented. And you, you said 21, but is that the age that you guys recommend women start getting screened? Should they go in earlier? 21 is when women start getting their pap smears. Mm. Um, but now we are focusing on getting kids vaccinated for HPV ahead of time. So, right. And that could start as early as, I think, 13. Right. Between 11 and 12 years old, they want to start uh, vaccinating young ladies with the HPV vaccination. But obviously, the parents have to say, hey, I want my kids to get this vaccine. Right. Are you guys running into a lot of trouble with parents reluctant to vaccinate their kids in that sense for this particular thing? We haven't focused on it ourselves, but that is a huge um, discussion. It's incredible to me that parents are reluctant to uh, vaccinate their kids, especially for something so preventable. Is it, uh, so, you know, my dad, he's in his late fifties. He's reluctant to get his colonoscopy uh, for whatever reason. I mean, I know the reason he doesn't want anybody back there doing whatever they're doing. We, we've tried to explain to him that, look, it's a normal thing. It's a routine thing. It's completely preventable. And if you don't go in and you do have uh, something going on down there, it can get really ugly really quickly. Is it the same with the cervical screenings? Is Does it get particularly ugly for women if they don't get screened and something does arise? Absolutely. Um, most of the invasive cancers or cervical cancers found in women could have been prevented if people were getting re- regular routine checkups. So I think that is, education is needed, obviously, for the um, community. Um, and if you go in to see your gynecologist, they will definitely try to um, encourage you to come in Mm -hmm. routinely to have those checks done. How often do they come in? Is this a once every year thing or? Um, For age 21, that's usually when they advise, but after, once you hit 30, you can go in every three years. Um, Once you go, um, then every five years. So it depends, but you need to start going in early at 21 and then from then on. 
Right. Uh, The United States Congress designated January as Cervical Health Awareness Month. More than 13,000 women in the U.S. are diagnosed with invasive cervical cancer each year, but the disease is preventable with vaccination and appropriate screening. Henry Mayo Newhall here in uh, the Santa Cruz Valley is joining the fight. Do you guys have seminars going on? Do you guys have free screenings? How are you guys? uh... We do talk about all of our um, different types of cancers at our community events. We have our CARE SCV um, cancer awareness event coming up March 7th this year. Um, we also do a lot of education at Relay for Life and so forth. So, is uh, Just side note, is the construction at Henry Mayo Newhall done? <laughs> yes. yes. It's yeah. done? Yeah. How long has it taken? Have you guys been there since the start of it? Yes. Isn't it incredible now? Yes, it is really nice. It's so, very nice. But it took about four years. Four years. About yeah. four One of the most years. impressive things, a part of that construction, is the parking structure. Right. Beautiful. <laughs> I haven't seen that much you parking in Southern in California shower. everywhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, again, during January, the National Cervical Cancer Coalition and its many local chapters across the country highlight issues related to cervical cancer, HPV disease, as we've talked about today, the importance of early detection. That's the key, right? Yes. Got to get screened. Right. Screening is the best prevention. Henry Mayo Newhall joining the fight for more info on all of Henry Mayo's services, uh, because there's a ton of them. You guys have a ton of community outreach classes going on every month. We do. Yeah. Uh, You can go to henrymayo.com. You can find a doctor nearest you. Again, henrymayo.com or give them a call at 661-200-2000. That is 661-200-2000. It's 2020. Just go to henrymayo.com. All the information you need. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Time for a quick break. Stay tuned. Traffic on the 8th is coming up.